Financial Secretary Paul Chen was peppered with questions on the mask mandate when he appeared on the radio show this morning. The program was meant for listeners to question him on the budget, but many wanted to know why the city is one of the last places in the world where masks must be worn in public. Missy Mock reports. So my, my comment and question is on your, your happy Hong Kong campaign. Yeah. Now, if the government really wants to make Hong Kongers happy again, why not give them control over their lives again by allowing them to choose to wear masks or not? Jim was one of several people who called a special RTHK show, the financial secretary phone in this morning, to press Paul Chan to justify the mask mandate that has been in force for nearly 1,000 days. But it's, it's very difficult to tell people and persuade people that we are a leading international center when we are the last people on the planet to remove masks. In response, the financial secretary said the mask mandates will probably be scrapped towards what he called the end of this season, without giving a specific date. This policy is still there on health grounds. And, uh, well, my colleagues in the health bureau have been uh, given very clear message as to the community, community aspiration to take off the mask as quickly as possible. Uh, this is high on their agenda. On Wednesday, the government extended the mandate until March the 8th. Chen, meanwhile, took the opportunity to warn about the consumption vouchers aimed at boosting domestic spending during the COVID crisis. In his budget speech, Chen said $5,000 will be dished out this time. He told listeners today that the handouts will not become the norm. This won't be, won't be regularized as a routine measure by the government because financially it is simply not sustainable. Uh, even at $5,000, it will cost us about $33 billion. Chan ruled out a tax on unoccupied property, saying the vacancy rate in the city is low. Maisie Mock, HKIBC.